This one's pretty good. This one's pretty crazy. So Pete Davidson and Ariana Grande have broken up, right? Which is amazing. It actually is pretty amazing. I didn't think about how amazing that was. I mean, think about Pete Davidson was really living it up. Tom is be living it up. They had an apartment together because Ariana Grande, multimillionaire here, one of the biggest pop stars of the moment. A lot of money, so much money that they were they had an apartment in New York City, sixty thousand dollars a month, sixty thousand. And of course, Ariana Grande is paying for all that. Pete Davidson, for those of you who don't know, SNL cast members make anywhere from. Five thousand to eight thousand dollars per episode. That's it. And I don't know if I don't think really he has any other income coming in. So he's not rich by any means. All of this gallivanting, all this streetwear you see Pete wearing, that was all Ariana Grande. He had that credit card. Sixty thousand dollar apartment in New York City. That's expensive. Right? The clout house is only $34,000, and that's huge. It's a giant mansion. Giant mansion. So 60000 a month is big. I didn't really think about this during their breakup. That's all gone, and it might never come back. And whenever you're downgraded in such a way, you're going to enter what's called deep depression. When deep depression passed. when my mama passed. <laughs> Suicide. What type of talk is that? So that giant downgrade will lead into a depression because you're not going to get that again unless he tricks another celeb into dating him. So I was thinking about that. That is a pretty good one. He had to really imagine winning the lottery and then two months later, they take it all away from you. That's a pretty big nightmarish scene, you know, that 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 is happening to you mentally, you know, it's pretty big. And then this comes out, and I really hope this story has wings and takes flight because it's pretty incredible. Pete Davidson allegedly sent intimate photos of him and Ariana Grande to Mac Miller, leading to Mac Miller's death. (laughs) So what does this mean? Listen to this. This gets even more freaky than you'd expect. I'll read it because this article is pretty good. It seems like everyone is trying to find the real reason as to why Ariana Green Day and Pete Davidson called off their engagement as they went from OTT romance to broken up in a matter of weeks. While outlets are reporting that Ariana released their engagement or realized their engagement was too soon and that things were put into perspective after her ex, Mac Miller, passed away, there's a new rumor going around that is absolutely sickening. Pete Davidson allegedly sent Mac Miller intimate photos of himself and Ariana as an attempt to end Mac Miller's hopes of getting back together with her. TMZ has picked up this story, too. It doesn't matter if it's real. We need this out there. We need this more out there than the baseline. Ari Ariana supposedly discovered this by Mac Miller's relatives and proceeded to end her relationship with Pete, according to TMZ. Pete Davidson would send intimate photos with Ariana Grande to Mac Miller uh, with a way to end the rapper's hopes of rekindling a relationship with her. Ariana discovered this uh, in the end, uh, discovered this by Mac Miller's relatives and ended the relationship. Okay. TMZ also reports that Mac was the main reason that Periana broke up. What's, oh. That's what they're calling Pete and Ariana. I thought they called themselves Granson. Yeah. A source close to Ariana Grande told the publication that after Mac's death, Ariana realized that she got engaged too quickly and couldn't be fully invested in the relationship. Right now, this is just a, a rumor, but hopefully it blows up. Now, why is this so important to Pete's demise? Well, Pete's new lifestyle. First of all, it's not just about the money. Pete's new lifestyle is what? 100% hip hop, right? He's rolling with all these hip hop people now. This is his dream. We learned right after Mac Miller died, the hip hop community loves Mac Miller. I learned it the hard way when I said, let's dig up Mac Miller and dance his corpse around. Remember the Kanye Reddit subreddit people, they didn't like that. (laughs) People are 100% mourning Mac Miller's death. If they find out 
that Pete Davidson did this and that maybe, just maybe, it contributed to Mac Miller ending his life, then Pete Davidson's cooked on all sides. He'll only have Dan Soder left and Big Jay Okerson because of scummy. Remember, Pete Davidson, that's where his, his original roots Legion of Skanks ish type crowd. So they will take him back. But all of this, all the fame, all the fortune, all the fun, gone. So let's get this story trending. This is great. The hip hop community loves anyone who dies. Yes. Rolling with the homies. Remember that? Dan Soder, yeah. I'll take him in. I'll take anyone. <gasps> I hate Dan Soder, by the way. If you're a fan of his, get out of here. Okay, that guy sucks. So, wow, what a uh, what a turn of events here. We really got our way. Does it feel good? I don't know. I don't feel any better. I think it feels good. You do? Yeah, yeah you haven't stopped talking about it. No, well, that's not true. My life still sucks. <laughs> Just kidding. My life's great. Opie Radio Crew, yeah, they all hated Little Peep until he died. Yeah, they love people who die. Even if they're like women beating, molesting uh, killers. They're like, man, oh, he died. He was so incredible. Why? If you die at 19, you're a scumbag. I don't care how you died. Think about that. If you die at 19, you're human shit. There's no way around it. You either died from a drug overdose, which makes you a scumbag. You were shot by a friend, scumbag, whose friends shoot, you know? Think or, of all of the people you see on Facebook where you're like, oh, I knew that guy from yeah, high school. Yeah, exactly. He's, he's dead. Are Why did he die? He was drag racing. Citizens, I mean. Right? He was drag racing. <laughs> yeah. They're always doing something. And then they're looked at as these heroes. No, they're not. Paul Walker was not a hero. He was a speed demon who couldn't keep his foot off the accelerator and drove right into a truck. So not cool guys these are guys who are you know really bad decision makers and they deserve to be burned okay all right <laughs> I'm sorry, sorry guys i'm just kidding no one deserves to lose their life in this world everyone rocks only losers die very true 